investigative reporter Ann Emerson will be there. Ann, what do we know about this suspect? Well, Jerry Rivers was implicated in a money laundering plot involving Alec Murdoch and Curtis Eddie Smith almost a year ago today. At that time, he was indicted by the attorney general's office for obstruction of justice. I was there when state prosecutor Creighton Waters said in open court and much to our surprise, allegedly misappropriated money flowed from Alec Murdoch out various ways. A lot of that went through Curtis Eddie Smith and then the money continued downstream to other accomplices who helped cash and launder money that would go through Spencer Roberts and Mr. Rivers. So far to date, the investigation has revealed in 2021 alone about $89,000 worth of checks that went to Mr. Rivers that he negotiated. We don't know yet why Rivers has a hearing tomorrow, but we do know that Rivers was supposed to be in Collinson County next week for his trial and that his name appears to have been taken off that trial roster for now. The other suspect, Spencer Roberts, is scheduled for trial in December and no date has been set for Alec Murdoch or Eddie Smith on these charges. I'll have more on this story tomorrow. Magic word, bearable. Uh, Charleston County is bringing back new security measures in public schools this year. They're called weapon detection systems. The portable technology will allow school security to search for weapons. Sedacia Smalls spoke to district leaders about the new tool. For the second year in a row, the Charleston County School District will use a weapon detection system in some schools. The technology will be in use at Septima P. Clark Academy and Baptist Hill Middle High School to start the year. At the end of last school year, uh, we had two schools that were piloting the full-time utilization of those detectors uh, using their existing staff. Um, going into next school year, uh, we have a couple of additional schools that are currently looking at uh, doing that themselves based on the experience of the two pilots that happened last year. CCSD Security Director Michael Reidenbach says the district hoped to equip all high schools with the tool. So having those weapons detectors on site um, at every high school will allow the team to be a lot more efficient in their searches, uh, help us search, um, help us increase the impact of that program and also increase the efficiency because using those detectors you no longer have to uh, empty your pockets and, and bring your metal out. They can um, send a lot more kids through it um, in a much less intrusive way. But Reidenbach says no additional grant funding was available this year to expand the program. Staffing is also an obstacle. Staffing is ultimately the biggest challenge in doing a full-time implementation of the weapons detectors. Uh, not every school, based on their configuration, their staffing model, uh, and their, their student supervisory uh, needs, have the, the ability to staff detectors on a full-time basis. District leaders say having the weapon detectors present will help keep schools safer for all. One of the key reasons for implementing a weapons detector program is deterrence. Uh, we want the increased level or the increased risk of, of detection to ultimately uh, keep folks from bringing things onto the campus they're not supposed to bring. Working for you, Sadeja Smalls, News 4. The school district says weapon detectors did not catch any firearms at schools last year where the program was in place. CCSD hopes to install the detectors in elementary and middle schools in the future. For years, neighbors in Berkeley County have been begging for improvements in a crash prone intersection on Highway 41. The exact location is Highway 41 at Halfway Creek Road. So far this year, officials say there have already been six crashes at that spot. It's where we find our Floriana Boardman tonight. So Floriana, why do drivers say these crashes are happening? Katie, Tessa, Berkeley County neighbors tell me they don't think drivers know that this intersection on Highway 41 is actually not a four way stop. Actually, one woman I spoke with today tells me her daughter, that's the reason her daughter got into a crash. And I don't know how many more accidents have to happen. Neighbors say the diagonal intersection at Highway 41 in Halfway Creek Road is dangerous. You have to kind of like slow down and keep an eye out to make sure no one's pulling out in front of you because a lot of people will. Cassie Carswell was in a crash just last week at that very corner. I was driving through as normally and the guy just kind of pulls out and rams into me. Her mom says the driver wasn't from the area and didn't realize it was not a four way stop. So he thought the other traffic was also going to stop. And when she went straight straight through the intersection, he pulled out and and hit her. Neighbors tell me they've been complaining to DOT about the intersection for years. But they've responded with 
<clears throat> the intersection's been studied multiple times and they're not able to put a signal there because there's no turn lanes and it's too close to the other light down by Clemens Ferry. They just want something to tell drivers some traffic keeps moving. We're the ones, the residents, the people who drive the road day in and day out, we're the ones that pay for it. And with more developments off the highway underway, their concerned traffic is going to get even worse. Obviously, with all the development that's going on in Clements Ferry, there's money somewhere. Yeah. They're just picking and choosing where they're devoting the money. We reached out to the DOT for a response several times today and have not heard back.